Okay, now that you have your grip trainer set, uh, <clears throat> if you'll go through what I'm going to show you in these successive steps, not advance forward until you have a particular step correct, then you'll have good success all the way through to the end. It's going to take practice, so always check to make sure the card is set to the uh, set square of the dots because that's that's going to be your um, foundation for checking whether or not the club is in front of you based upon group. Okay, so I have my. We're going to show you one more thing here. Um, I have my left hand, and I, I make a wrist cock, and I look down. In the beginning, you're going to see, as I noted, both sides of the card. You have a blue and white on one side, white on the other. You want to make sure your left wrist is flat when you cock. Okay, you cock your wrist, flat left wrist. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to get into my setup and just relax. Okay, I'm on a mid-core power spot, mid-core stance with, and I look down and I see both sides of the card. Okay, I stand up, I see both sides of the card. So when I go into my posture, I should see both sides of the card. If I get a little too much spine angle forward, now I see the right side of the card. So the point is, this is how you're going to also check your posture. This will tell you exactly where you need to be with posture. So I'm looking at the edge of the card. I get into my setup. I see both sides. I had a little bit spine tilt. I can actually feel my left hand rotate out. I see the blue side of the card. So no matter where I go now, I'm going to see a shut face going back. So you can check your posture with just one hand, your left hand. So once you get your left hand grip, cock your wrist, and I see uh, just the top edge of the card. Over time, that's what you will start to see. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my left wrist with my right hand, and all I'm going to do is start back. And I still see the uh, edge of the card. So I'm going from address to here and I still see the edge of the card. So if I let the club work up, I still see the edge of the card. And I'm holding on to my left wrist with my right hand. So that's telling me that my left hand is awfully good on this club, on this grip trainer right now. So I'm going to go back into my setup. And if I get too tall, by the way, as I set up, I see the, I see the white side or an open face. So when I get in and exactly Good posture, I see the edge of the card. Now, how do I find that first? I have to have a good left hand. I have to have a flat left wrist, cock my wrist up, <clears throat> let my elbow come up, lean against my chest wall. And as I'm just ready to go into my setup, I see the top edge of the card. Now, I go into my setup, and I see the top edge of the card. I, I rise a little bit, change my spine angle, face just open. I get too deep, face just closed. So this will read your posture. Uh, you want to work on just getting your left hand on the glove. So you want to step off, go back to, I go back into my mid-core stance with, I have my mid-core power spot, which is the crease on that first knuckle up. Let my hands hang at my side and I relax. And I bring my um, left hand up cock my wrist, I have, a, I have a bit of a cup. So when you work on this, you can hold it, you can see what you want to see. Meaning, you're going to nail that's perfect. So I had to weaken. Weaker grip is counterclockwise, stronger grip is clockwise. So I had to go a little counterclockwise with my left hand to get it, and there it is. Okay.